to not sleep on midnight peony. <laughs> Jesus loves you. Emmanuel, God is with us. <sighs> Let's take a moment of silence for the tragedies of um, mass shootings in the United States of America in this video. Jesus, save us all. In any event, Jesus loves you. And I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed. We're going to talk about Midnight Peony. This is my second favorite scent in the Fresh Greens collection. And I will tell you up front, I am enthralled with the Fresh Greens collection. I think it is phenomenal. I think it is my favorite collection that... Bath & Body Works has ever put out. It is an all floral collection. It, the scents are light. They last a long time. They are unique. They are nothing like anything I've ever had at Bath & Body Works. And this is the most controversial scent, strangely enough. This scent is said to be a fragrance called Midnight Amethyst or Amethyst from the past. And everybody's been craving that amethyst and not knowing where it is. And then all of a sudden, this pops up. Look at that bottle. Is that not modern? Look at that. It's dark. It's mysterious. I think that might be a peony bush. The artwork is incredible. It's got this postage stamp with the gilding. This is amazing. This makes a statement. This looks like something that cost a whole lot more money than what Bath & Body Works is currently charging for it. Highly recommend it. It is a peony scent. I believe it has a lot of... I don't know what peony smells like. We don't have peonies in Southern California. They are not... Uh, they don't grow in our climate. We have roses. I don't smell rose in here. I do smell um, woods and spices. And I smell fruit, <laughs> like, you know, and I smell like a deepness in this. Like, this smells like a fall scent to me. It smells like a scent to wear for formal events and parties. I think I may smell a blackberry. I definitely smell a berry in here. I'm covered in other perfumes, so I can't put it on right now. I smell tonka bean in here. I smell a dark tonka bean and something like a datura or a night flower that um, is normally associated with stuff that is poisonous but smells seductive. I'm getting notes. This fragrance is reminding me of um, Dior's Poison. It just has that kind of ambiance to it. Definitely a formal affair. This is not, to me, a daytime scent. It's very sexy. It's gorgeous. It's way too strong for 90-degree weather. <laughs> you know, you guys, I am burping in all my videos. Today is the day of burping for me. And I just let out a big belch, and there is another one coming. Mm. I don't know what I'm purging, but thank God it's gone. I adore this fragrance. I think I will grow to love it even more when the weather cools down. Ooh, it's perfume, though. So if you don't want to smell like perfume, you don't want to smell like Dior, the House of Dior, this reminds me of the House of Dior. This might not be for you. I don't smell any peony in here, but I don't really know what a peony smells like. I associate peony with a light smell. You know, other peony fragrances that I've had, like Versace, um, Crystal, uh, they smell lighter and playful and all that kind of stuff. That's why I'm saying I don't think there's a pe I don't smell a pee. I don't smell that light, playful summer scent. I smell a deep, dark, moody woman who is a boss, a lover, um, 
you know, just everything successful and confident. Somebody who I, you know, like to be one day, <laughs> you know, that's what I smell. And um, I'm going to definitely wear this in the fall and winter time and enjoy it. I will stock up and buy more at a later point. I think I got two of these. I'm not sure, but I really like it. And that amethyst fragrance, for the couple years that I've been at Bath & Body Works, they haven't had it. So it's something that I don't think they get all the time. They probably bring it in every other year under a different name or so. And those of us who like it can get it at that time. I love this packaging. Really, really happy with that. So um, if you like poison, if you like tender poison, poison girl, all that kind of stuff from Dior and you want something from Bath and Body Work that you can wear for those kind of occasions, Midnight Peony. I mean, the fact that they put Midnight in this name should have been the warning. They're saying this is not Peony. This is what, if you were to use a nickname for whatever it is, um, a berry scent for the nighttime. If you look closely, I see a little pink color there. This is just gorgeous. Whoever designed the Fresh Greens line at Bath & Body Works, kudos to you. You a boss. Okay? <laughs> That's my opinion. Anyway, Jesus loves you, and I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful. If you like the Fresh Greens fragrance, leave a comment as to why. If you do not like it, anything in the Fresh Greens collection, leave that comment too, and Tell why, you know, because people want to know if you've done any videos on any of the Fresh Green fragrances, please let people know in the comments below so they can go watch your video because um, YouTube can be ratchet sometimes. You know, the people that I watch, sometimes I don't, I'll miss a video, you know, bells and whistles and everything. And I find that video like months later, I'm like, what is this? You know, so sometimes you got to help YouTube along with a comment. Anyway, Jesus loves you. I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.